hey guys so welcome to this tutorial on how you can um do max animation on cap cuts um briefly um it's going to be a very short one and you know it's very easy so you come over to your to your cap cut application sorry now you come over to cap, cap cut application then you now um come to new project you come to new project okay now it depends on what you want to use it for but i'll prefer i'll advise to use it um, for um more of images okay it works best for images but you can use it for videos and no other graphics so now click on what add here yeah. now this is what we want to do now now um max animation is very simple it's it's kind of highlights one portion of the video at once and moves throughout the video okay it can be from top to bottom it can be diagonally it can be from bottom to top it can be at it can be on uh, from any angle to any angle okay it just kind of um highlights one part and moves to another part maybe the opposite end of that particular image now this is what you do you come over towards you click on the, the photo first off click on the photo okay then you scroll down like this you um you come use your hand to your um, thumb to scroll down to the point where you see what's mask you see mask right so when you see mask now you come now the shape you choose is mirror you choose what's mirror so click on mirror now what you just have to do is use your two thumbs one thumb should be here your second thumb should be here use your two thumbs to reduce the size of this mirror to a small size follow me let me show you what i mean then let me i want to make my one to be diagonal now something like this Okay. So you use the size not too small, not too big. The size is, is reasonably okay. Then after that, you now you see this this little arrow that is pointing down here. You drag it, you drag it a little, so that it can bring out some kind of shadow. You know, the longer I drag it, the more shadow it comes, and the little and the smaller I drag it, it um, reduces the shadow. So let me make it something like this. Let me also reduce the little. Then I will now. Sorry. If you make a mistake, you can undo it. Okay. So now, once you are now done, you now drag it towards this point. I want my, by mind you, I want my um my max animation to move from this portion of my video to this portion. So it's moving from like this in this direction. Okay. It can be in any direction. It can be from up to down. This direction. This direction. So I just want it to be in this direction. Now you you position it at this proper um, point here. Yeah? somewhere like this should be okay then now once you are done you will now come towards this uh you see this key this will call keyframe animation this icon i'm touching currently is called keyframe animation so you just click on it and please know this the way this keyframe animation works is simple it works with the principle of initial position and final position so wherever i click this wherever i choose to um click on this keyframe animation will be my initial position mind like what i mean is that you see this point where this video is now okay this is my initial position so it will start start it will start for me as my initial position and then move towards my, a final position so i want, I want my initial position to be at the beginning here okay i want it to be at the beginning at this point okay so once it's at this point this is my initial position i will not click on it i will not click on the keyframe animation icon you first of all identify the, the initial point mind you guys you identify the initial points then you click on the keyframe animation icon so let's do that this is my initial point so i'll click on this icon here so now this is you don't need to touch anything here just let's just okay let's come to feather and increase the feather a little okay then after that we will now come towards we will now um we will now move to the, the position we want it to end with sorry we now move to the position. Let's come back to mask. It's left of my mistake. So we now move to the position we want it to end with. This, this is my initial position. So let's have the initial and the ending position or the final position to be at the end of the, the clip. I will just use my thumb. I'll first of all identify it. Okay. Then I will now come and now move this mask to the end. This will not be the ending um, position. So let's do that quickly. Okay. So this is how my video will look like when I'm done, right? Something like this should be okay. Alright, so this this I just make it here. So this is my this goes my ending position, okay? So now once you are done, you just click on tick. Now let's let me play the final results for you.
okay how many of us have seen these effects before yes you must have seen these effects in one way or the other now this is just how it is made okay and it is, can be made on cap cords okay yes it's very very simple so i would like you to just practice it out and you know try you do it in apply it in any of your projects because i use it a lot in my video editing projects you can apply it in any of your projects and make it look very cinematic okay so this is it here yeah? you can add it make it maybe a beat or you know a music okay depending on the type of video you're creating this just highlights you know makes it more catchy than you know just a, a stagnant image okay so what you're doing you just export it and you're done so you can also use it for anything you want to, you want it to, um, to use it for so that's all and see you later guys bye